My tip for you today is for sharpening pencils. Hiya, welcome back. Uh, my favourite workshop gadget at the minute has got to be me electric pencil sharpener. I've had this thing for a couple of years now, but it's been in the house and uh, it's now been promoted to the workshop because I use it so much. As predominantly doing joinery work, I get through a lot of pencils. Obviously, it's only for like round pencils, but you can, it's got like lots of different pencil sizes and different sharpening profiles that you can do. But I'll just show you, uh, is that the right size for that? I think that's the right size. That pencil's already quite sharp. Let's find a one that's not sharp. There we go, that one's not great. Done. Let's do all my pencils. Two, three, four, that one's sharp, five, six, There we go, two, four, six, eight, ten pencils sharpened, I think in under a minute, I didn't really time it. Obviously you can't really do carpenter's pencils in it, you still need to do that the old fashioned way which I just do with uh, a Stanley knife. I'll try and show you, you can either go, you want to use your thumb behind the blade to get just a bit of force behind it. I prefer generally to do it that way but you can also do it that way what you don't want is like an uncontrolled j -j 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 type thing, that's uh, just rubbish. You, if you get some force behind it, I prefer to do a little bit like that, a little bit like that, a little bit. The blade in this knife's a bit rubbish. Like that, just get the, the lead kind of exposed. And then, and then you can either use the blade to get it sharpened, but here's another free top tip for you, secondary tip. Not only, this is a little Derwent pencil sharpener by the way, the electric one. I'll talk about that in a bit more in a minute. But for sharpening, getting your carpenter's pencil sharp, or any pencil, just grab a scrap of sandpaper. There we go, and that's now a decent point on that. I think that's a bit quicker than fannying on with a knife myself, but uh, each to their own. There's no right and wrong way of sharpening a pencil. It's only a pencil, for God's sake. But this little thing, honestly, the batteries, you would think that you'd be getting through batteries every two seconds. It uses four double A's, and look at this. You can, even, you can adjust the sharpness um, of the tip as well. Why you would want a blunt tip, I'm not entirely sure, but anyway. So as I say, you've got this kind of wheelie thing, so you can adjust for different sized pencils. Um, you can also, I think this is for giving a different angle on the cut, so because it's got two separate blades in it. Watch this, so we'll take this. This will give it a, um, a sh sharper angle, watch. So look, we've got like a much much longer kind of tip now compared to the other ones. Uh, can you see the difference? So that's from using that hole versus uh, that one. But I normally just use that shorter one. The batteries last for ages. I'm getting probably about a year out of a set of batteries in it. So I'm not changing the batteries every two seconds. Honestly, top tip, this thing is brilliant. Um, I just got it off, I think, Amazon or eBay or something like that. It's a Derwent. It's not sponsored or anything, I just think it's class. And bonus tip for you in all of this is don't just sharpen one end of your pencil, sharpen both ends and then you've got two sharp points for the price of one. And of course, you could just use a propelling pencil, which is an option as well. I haven't got one around because I always lose them and that's the problem. That's why I generally prefer normal pencils because I do tend to lose them so I just buy these in bulk. But propelling pencils are fine as well 
if you don't break them, makes life easy because I just carry then a whole bunch of these around in my toolbox and then I've always got access to a sharp pencil when I need it. Because your cut will only be as accurate as the line you're following and all that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.